Now there aren't many scow houses still in existence. There may be a half dozen or so uh, still in Cumberland County. Uh, they were used on the rivers and in the marshes uh, by guys who were hunting, fishing, and trapping. They were used further up the Delaware River uh, by the shad fishermen. Uh, they could tow the scow houses around to different locations uh, wherever they may be fishing. Uh, this particular scow house was originally owned by John Schock. Um, he uh, operated his dad's business, uh, the George Y. Schock Company. It was actually the uh, bivalve branch because they were based out of Philadelphia. Um, we do have a picture of him here uh, with the rest of the guys uh, who uh, worked for the company. And we also have a picture of his dad. Um, that's him right there, uh, George Y. Schock. Uh, so uh, John Schock owned this scow house. Uh, we don't know how he utilized it. Uh, one other thing to point out is that the scow houses were traditionally left um, unlocked. Uh, so that way they could be used by anybody who may have gotten caught um, out in the meadows during a storm or during a low tide. Now, um, John Schock uh, lost the scow house to a uh, sheriff's sale. Uh, it was sold, uh, or the, uh, was by uh, Daniel Adams, um, and Laura Ernest purchased it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Now we do know a bit more about uh, Laura Ernest. Uh, she uh, used the cabin on the Morris River between the nineteen thirties and the nineteen fifties. Uh, they used it to house their oyster boat deckhands. Later on, their daughter Bertha and her husband. Uh, Sherwood Finch lived in it after they were married. So nice and cozy with a nice little uh, uh, side cupboard as well. Um, in the 1950s, they moved into their house uh, in uh, Morristown. And this little scow house uh, was in their backyard all those years until about 2018 uh, when it was donated uh, to the Bayshore Center uh, by uh, Bruce Finch and Christopher Finch. So we're really fortunate to have it. Um, it's a great part of our collection. Uh, we are still working on it. Uh, it wasn't in the greatest condition, um, but it's an important part of the uh, Bay Shores uh, history. When you do head into our museum, we have recreated George Shock's office. So be sure to check that out the next time you visit. Thanks so much for joining me.